Good evening, Benton School District announced they will not require masks on campus. We're talking about a district with 5,500 students. THP 11's Jordan Howington looks at the give and take after the school board made the call last night. Yeah, the Benton School District is one of the first in the state to come out and say, hey, we're allowing our students and staff to make their own choice to wear a mask on campus or not. And that's left mixed emotions between parents. They were really excited getting out of the car this morning, not having to wear a mask. Brittany Burns his children asked to toss their mask now that they don't have to wear them to school. They're students at Benton's Howard Perrin Elementary. She says she's thankful the district is now giving her kids the choice. For my kids, it caused a lot of anxiety, them not being able to see faces and knowing who people are. And I think it just made them really uncomfortable and they've had a lot of anxiety this year and they've always loved school and this year has just been kind of chaotic. But others aren't so happy. People sounded off on the district's social media pages saying they were disappointed. And at the end of the day, you're going to get both sides. You're never going to make everyone in the community happy. But our school board and our leadership decided that this was the best decision at this time for our students and our staff members. The district says every staff member has had the opportunity to get a vaccine and the majority are now fully vaccinated. But she says if some parents feel uncomfortable, the virtual school option is still open. Parents have always had the choice if they want to keep their student home and be virtual. That continues through the rest of the school year. Brittany hopes for her children that they aren't bullied for their choices. It just gives them more ammo to bully other kids for not wearing a mask or for wearing a mask. The school district is also planning a mass COVID-19 vaccine clinic for students 16 and older. Parents should be getting information on that soon. In Benton, Jordan Howlington, THV 11 News. Jordan, thank you. Now, the Atkins School District has also announced they will not require masks on campus, but instead they will encourage students and staff to wear them.